President Obama tells NPR he's making no apologies for the strategy he's chosen to combat ISIS. But in a wide-ranging interview last week, the president says he also understands why some are criticizing the approach. On our side, I think that there is a legitimate criticism uh, of what I've been doing and our administration's been doing in the sense that we uh, haven't, you know, on a regular basis, I think, described all the work that we've been doing uh, for more than a year now to defeat ISIL. And so if people haven't seen the fact that, in fact, 9,000 strikes have been carried out against ISIL, if they don't know that uh, towns like Sinjar that were controlled by ISIL uh, uh, have been taken back. In that same interview, President Obama made some of his most extensive comments yet about Republican frontrunner Donald Trump. Because of the financial crisis, because of technology, because of globalization, the fact that wages and incomes have been flatlining for some time, and that uh, particularly uh, blue collar men uh, have had a lot of trouble uh, in this new economy uh, where they're no longer getting the same bargain that they got when they were going to a factory and uh, able to uh, support their families on a single uh, paycheck. Uh, you combine those things, and it means that. There, there is going to be potential uh, anger, frustration, uh, fear. Some of it justified, but just misdirected. Uh, and uh, you know, I think somebody like Mr. Trump's taken advantage of that. Uh, I mean, that's what he's exploiting uh, uh, during the course of his campaign.